heads up about this from one of those in our community you know who you are thank you very much evidently yesterday ecuador was hit by hours long nationwide blackout that left the south american nations 17 million people without power blackout which affected hospitals homes and major subway systems they say was caused by a maintenance and transmission issue in the country's electrical system, authorities said. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Grinley News. Thank you for joining me. Outages that they had were due to a lack of investment in maintenance, new electrical transmission, and protection of the electrical transmission infrastructure. Notice they put in protection of the electrical transmission infrastructure. Lake Infrastructure Minister Roberto Luke told the news conference on Wednesday. The reason I bring that up, Twitter post was blaming China. Here is a post that says Ecuador suspends visa deal with China as migrants surge. South America has become a popular starting point for Chinese people heading to the U.S. Evidently, this was a day before the power went out there in Ecuador. And they're thinking that maybe China uh, was having retaliation against Ecuador. The post, it says, China did it. Ecuador hit by nationwide blackout, leaving 17 million in the dark. One day after Ecuador suspended visa deal with China, migrants surge. So when the public infrastructure minister says that they have a lack of protect protection, of the electrical transmission infrastructure. Yeah, makes me wonder. As of Wednesday night, energy had been restored to 95% of the country, according to the government. Ecuador has been struggling with an energy crisis for years. Latest saw Ecuadorian President Daniel Nabora declare a state of emergency in April and ordered eight hours nationwide power cuts amid a drought that affected power generation. The capital city of Kiko, uh, there was two hospitals, including a children's medical center. They lost power during the blackout. Both hospitals were able to rely on electricity from their generators shortly after the cut began. The nation's largest city of Guayaquil, the blackout also briefly affected two other hospitals. The power was cut but they had their own generators. A doctor from Guayaquil uh, Venezuela Hospital uh, reached out to the country's health minister to ask if other hospitals were affected. Guayaquil residents faced the outage amid 90 degree Fahrenheit or 32 Celsius heat. It's unbearable. It's so hot and humid. We can't use an air conditioner or a ventilator one resident told the news agency CNN. Think of all the different things that the power affected. Yeah, I got the video of the amusement park, people trapped up in different rides. Um, yeah, it affects your sewer, your water, baiters, subways. A resident there in Quayacu said that they had no water that was running. Service was in rep interrupted in Quito's subway system due to the blackout, with the capital's mayor saying that the outage was so significant it had affected the subway despite it using an isolated electrical system. Infrastructure Minister Luke said the blackout could have been avoided had Ecuador carried out an investment plan to safeguard, once again mentioning the safeguard, the infrastructure in both generating power and the transmission after a similar power outage took place in 2004. Luke said Wednesday blackout was not related to the country's energy crisis from last April. Luke also said for years we have stopped investing in these systems and today we are experiencing the consequences. 
very well could have been a state-sponsored hack because they said that the subway was on a completely separate system. Local media reported that access to drinking water was suspended in some areas with some residents expressing their frustration at the lack of warning of the suspension. We have to work miracles with the bottle that I have at home, Gia's resident um, mentioned to one of the local media. Classes were also suspended at educational institutions across the country, and then they decided to um, hold the classes online. Dr. Luke also said that he blamed the blackout on the failure of a transmission line. Most of the country's energy comes from neighboring Colombia. Quito, the activation of all reactivation teams of the municipality um, so that they could join in facilitating mobile preventing accidents at the main intersections and taking care of public spaces. Blackout hit abruptly just after 3 p.m. local time, surprising subway riders in the capital of Quito as trains came to a halt and hundreds of people were evacuated. Some of the passengers were forced to walk long distances through dark metro tunnels until finding an exit. Hours after the power went out, the energy minister, Luke, said on X that 95% of the service had been restored nationwide. Quick lights in Quito were also out and police made uh, maintained intersections to uh, make sure that people had some semblance of order. Fake chaos also hit the Pacific port city of Guayaquil. People found themselves stranded in elevators, in offices, and residential buildings, and the public water company urged the population to stock up on water just in case. Three cars in the southern city of Cuenca also stopped running. Yeah, this was a nationwide outage. 18 million people without power stuck for at least three hours in elevators and sweltering heat. Yeah, that's no picnic. Most of the country's energy comes from neighboring Colombia, like I said, a nation that is also struggling to generate enough power for its own domestic consumption. A 2.5 billion Chinese built hydroelectric power plant. Coca Cotto Sinclair Dam was supposed to help solve Ecuador's problem located on the Coco River in the province of Napo, 62 miles east of Brazil. It is, it is the largest energy project in Ecuador. The project has instead become a major headache for the Ecuadorian authorities. There has been several construction errors leading to a legal dispute between Ecuadorian officials and the Chinese company. Scouts had ceased in mid-May, and Mr. Luke, who also serves as the acting energy minister, said on June 7th that the risk of power outages had been mitigated. But that assurance was so short-lived. On June 16th, part of Quito were also again plunged into darkest darkness three days after a, the blackout struck the entire country. 6.50 p.m. Wednesday, yesterday, Mr. Luke wrote on X that 90% of the power had been restored, and he blamed years of lack of public investment for the energy crisis. What are your thoughts? Something made in China or a Chinese hack? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.